literally don't know what I look right now, but we're at the beach. And we came for sunset or sunrise, sunrise. Oh my gosh. from California, sorry. We actually did go in, but we're here to surf. But there's surfers everywhere and we're beginners. Lucy doesn't even know how to surf. Never heard of it. And like I'm not that good and I feel weird surfing around them. Like look at how many people are out there. I don't know you can, if you can see. Hey girlies. Hey girlies. We are in the car right now. Um, probably going to Jack's Beach um, because the beach here is like, yeah, beautiful with the sunrise, but, but okay. the waves are kind of wild and the current is really strong. We're going to Jack's Beach so that there might be a better current and that we could actually like surf there. So we'll keep you guys like updated. Yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. If we're all driving right now. Yeah. Welcome to Point B. Um, yes. We made it to Jack's Beach and it is so much nicer. I'm glad Elizabeth forced me to basically leave that other beach because I did not feel comfortable with her surfing because she's never surfed before and they were so rough. Like uh, the people that were out there surfing, like they all knew how to surf. There were no beginners. Hello. <laughs> Hi. The surf here is way nicer and I'm really excited. I wanted to surf with her, so I'm glad we left. Well, let's go surfing. trash pick it up we went to the beach like a couple times and there were so many like cans and water bottles and no one bothered picking them up they'll we're just wa they'll just walk past it and not even pick it up we're living out here doing there's, community. A, there's a trash can right there they can't just throw it's it out service right here. it is now 11 30 and we just got done taking over vlogs because um girly is girly meaning courtney is driving uh it's been like maybe three um, well we got there at like I would say nine, now it's 11. But we've been out for like almost six hours. Elizabeth has never surfed before and she was actually doing such a good job. Like I was surprised. I know people that can't even stand up on the board. Now we're headed to Zoe's, what is it? Zoe's Kitchen? Zoe's Kitchen. Okay, don't kill us. So we're home now and no. we forgot to film our food. Okay, so we forgot to Okay, so. By the way, I do have work later today, so I'm not gonna be vlogging anything else. My dad told me a story about something that happened to him today and he got Ooh. scammed. It's actually really funny, but like scary. I'm gonna have him tell the story later when he gets home. Um, hey, it's actually a brand new day. It's the next day from what you just saw. I am so sorry. I have not been vlogging because I'm only vlogging when there's really, you know, stuff going on and there's nothing going on. It's July 14th and um, it's like 10 o'clock at night. Today, me and Elizabeth did make this paleo chocolate chip banana bread and I have made it before for Thanksgiving or it was Christmas. I don't know. And I was going to have her try it on camera, but she's not here and I was going to wait for her to eat it. But now she's not here. So now I want to eat it and I'm going to eat it. This isn't vegan, but the only reason why it's not vegan is because there's eggs in it. I'm sure you can substitute it for chia seeds, but this is gluten-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free. Hey guys, it's actually the next day again. Elizabeth is gonna try the banana bread now that I said she was gonna try last night, but she couldn't, so she's gonna try it now. It's a healthy banana bread, and she's never tried it before, so I'm really curious to see what she's gonna think. I think we did literally the greatest job of making it, though. Like, it looks incredible. It does, it does. Can you even tell it's healthy? Healthier. This is way better than a regular banana bread. <laughs> it literally just tastes like regular banana bread, but like it's more um, moist mm -hmm. and like there's more flavor to it. Yeah. Oh, the so recipe good. is down below if you want to try it out. Okay, bye. We're at breakfast. We went. We're at first watch. 
And Elizabeth is now obsessed with this place. She doesn't have it in California. So she's like in love. Take me to your best friend's house. After like two days, my dad is finally going to tell the story about him getting scammed, so here you go. <laughs> Scamming is for mean, bad people. <laughs> and I was encountered by a bad man who called me up. He, well, what happened was, here's what happened. His phone number, the phone number of <laughs> came through my cell phone. And they said it's the fraud department. But let me give you my social security number right now. It's <laughs> the <laughs> phone came through. The phone. Someone from <laughs> called him and he said, answered. Hey, Mr. Door, this is the fraud department. Okay, he, he didn't sound like that. And I need you to give me the last three digits on the back of the card because someone tried to charge Amazon to your card and we have a fraud alert. Oh. Yeah, the fraud was the man calling me. The fraud was the man, was a lie, it was a lie. I thought I was talking to the val validation, the fraud department of <laughs> And so then about 45 minutes later, I get a call from <laughs> because an email came through that someone had taken $400 from a bank in, in Miami out of my account number, which- No, they, tell them about the Amazon, the, account number. the Amazon order. You let didn't me tell talk you the about account that. number. <laughs> I just said that Amazon, it was from the Mr. <laughs> Saeeb, who said from the fraud department. Who? Saeeb. Saeeb said. You have a fraud department. I'm scared. This is the fraud department. Someone tried to charge an Amazon charge from your car. Can you tell it normally like you did the other night? Okay, Weiner Chardonnay. So then when the email came through, I'm like talking to the girl from And I asked her, was there an Amazon charge? Because I was going through what they had. She's just like, no, there wasn't an Amazon charge. Which was a lie. And then at the that, at that point, I realized that the call that came in 45 minutes early, and then I said, did you ask for my PIN number? She goes, we would never do that. And I realized it was the scammer who had called me the, the 45 minutes early. So at that point, we went in a high alert. The phone blew up. The fraud department was... $400 got stolen from his account. 400 yeah. And so you never give your account number online or your social security life number. Life lesson. And you never give... To everyone watching this, this is a life lesson. You never give your personal information and they'll never ask for it. The bank would not do that. But let me do it for you right now. Let me give you my social security number and my account number. We'll it's have it seven, linked down below. It's... Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, this is the funnest video ever done. Thank you. Basically, my dad, like, he got a call from this scammer, and he thought it was from our bank, and, like, it sounded real. Like, the guy that was talking, he made it sound so real, and my dad's, like, really good with that kind of stuff. Like, he's good with noticing if it's a scam or not, but this dude got him, and he took, he took $400 from his bank account. They could have gotten more. Yeah, they could have gotten more, because they, he went to an ATM, which is so crazy how they're able to do that. They somehow made a card with his like information. So they went to an ATM and took $400 out of his account. And it could have been 10,000, but like the minimum was 400. So like he could have gotten even more money yeah, stolen. Extra layers of security because they had <sighs> Yeah, so it was crazy. If that happened to me, I would like start crying. <laughs> By the way, if you think my dad is weird after watching that, he used to be a comedian and he's funny like that. So just to let you know. See more hey, sick. Hey, I need See. you to do me a favor. I said See. Take that, just uh, double. Beep it. Huh? Beep, I'll beep it. Yeah, don't say I'll, it. I'll beep out Haha, <laughs> ha, you don't know what I just said. I have to, I have to say <laughs> Hey guys, it's Soa. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> we just, just saw. Saw. <laughs> so I'm in a bathrobe. <laughs> casual, truly. So we're just editing, um, watching the video over, and we forgot an outro as always. So here it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, this make is sure. definitely like a really funny vlog. I love this. Yeah. One. So make sure it's all raw. So. Yeah, it's all raw. So make sure to give this video a like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Everything is gonna be linked down below. And Twitter and Facebook and um, Snapchat, Snapchat, Pinterest, Spotify, what? everything. Yeah. And okay, bye. Bye.